Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I bring you another review and demo of another update of an Audio Assault plugin. They're pretty much updating every single one of their amplifiers that haven't had an update in quite a while. This of course comes with new features but also an improvement in sound quality. So today we will be taking a look at the Audio Assault RBXXEX. The RBXX is pretty much a modeling or a uh, a very heavily inspired amplifier by the Red G20. As you will see on the demo, the front panel is pretty much a copy of the G20, except that on the RBXX it doesn't have all the virtual cabinet thing. So the same as the Sigma EX, this comes with three pedals, which are a noise aid, a boost, and an overdrive. One of the new features is that it comes with three 3D cabs that are fully customizable. You can move the microphones around, blend them in, all that good stuff. And it still has the Audio Assault Input Response Loader, which is pretty good. It comes with four effects, which are an EQ, a chorus, a reverb, and a delay. It comes with a tuner, and the amplifier itself is a two-channel amplifier, a clean channel and a distortion channel. Some of the new features that this update has are a new algorithm and engine for the sound, so it sounds a bit better than its previous iterations. An improved double tracking simulator. Now each channel has its own controls and remembers what the settings were when you swap the channels. The new three 3D cabs that I already mentioned. It's full MIDI customizable and now actually uses less CPU power than before. And if you already have the RBXX, this is a free update, you don't have to pay anything for it. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know before the demo. Everything that you're going to hear is coming from the plugin. So for this demo, I won't be using any outside effects or IRs or anything. It's all coming from the RBXX. And it has no post-processing. Everything that you're hearing is just the output that Reaper is giving me. And for the demo, I will be using my Warlock Strat copy and it has a downlist super distortion copy in the bridge and it has a single call in the neck so let's go right into the demo so guys as you can see we are here at the demo and as i told you i will be using my warlock uh, strat copy this is such a beautiful guitar this guitar is tuned to e flat or drop c sharp depending on what i'm playing in the video these are the settings of the cabinet that i will be using on this demo as you can see i'm using one of the 3d cabs one of the new features uh, so yeah these are the settings that i'm going to be using on this demo right now i only have the noise gate on and everything is coming from the amplifier so this is channel a with everything on five, let's hear how that sounds. As you could hear, that is pretty amazing considering the gain is pretty much on half and we don't have any boost activated at this moment. So that is pretty heavy and that is pretty tight uh, just from the get-go. With this amplifier you can select between two aggression modes. Uh, we don't have activated yet, but when you activate it, uh, it pretty much gives you a boost in gain and tightness. So now I will set it how I play it for high gain. Uh, by myself, so let's see how that is. Okay, so as you can see, I have the aggression mode activated and I don't have the gain that up because this however has a fuck ton of gain. <laughs> I have the bass rolled up a little bit because this is a very uh, bass heavy amp. These are the other settings that I have. Uh, and I have the overdrive activated because I like my tones tight. So let's hear how that compares to before without the boost and 
without the aggression. So this is how it sounds with my settings. Yeah, that, that definitely chucks. <laughs> that is super, super, super tight. As you can see, that sounds pretty much like a completely different amplifier as before. This amplifier has a lot of tones in it. You can shape it into way, way, way many other things than just high gain. But let's see if we can get some less modern tones. Not less modern, but uh, less American type of distortion despite this being, I guess, a Canadian type distortion. <laughs> As you can see, by just slightly EQing the amplifier and just taking the aggression uh, option off, it sounds pretty different. It almost has like a British characteristic to it without really being like a Marshall or an Orange. It sits pretty in the middle and you can pretty much EQ it to do anything you want. By just tweaking the gain, I got a pretty close tone to uh, an orangey, marshally type of tone. It has a ton of gain, but if you, you know, tweak the overdrive and the aggression mode, you could pretty much get some crunchy tones out of it. But now let's hear the B channel. So the B channel is the clean channel, and this is how it sounds with everything on half. It's a pretty smooth type of clean, it's not like a super crystal clean, uh, but it's pretty pretty nice, I like it. When I need to play clean some things for other stuff that I do, I actually use the RBXX on top of any other amplifier besides the Neural DSP Cory Wong, because I do think it has uh, quite a neutral but smooth clean channel. But let's hear it with the settings that I use on this amplifier when I'm playing clean. Okay, so when I'm playing clean on this amplifier, I have the booster activated. I'm just boosting a little bit of the highs and I have the white button on. 
What this does is, so far as I know, it only works on the clean channel and it pretty much makes your tone a bit wider. It gives it a more spacious type of vibe. You will notice it more if you have like good headphones or good uh, studio monitors. I don't have either, I just have PC speakers. So yeah, and this is the EQ that I have. I like my cleans kind of bright, so yeah, this is how it sounds. As you could hear, just by using the booster pedal and just tweaking the EQ a bit, that gave us a pretty uh, nice crystal clean. And I was using the river, I forgot to say, I was using the river and this is what I was using as far as the settings go. And for the clean channel you can also use the aggression uh, button which actually gives you more of an overdriven type of tone. It's pretty much just a breakup tone but it's pretty nice. Yeah, that is a pretty nice kind of early rock tone. If you don't like full out distortion, this also like does the clean stuff, does the overdriven stuff, and it does this pretty well. And if you use the aggression mode and the overdrive on the B channel or the clean channel, you can pretty much get like a Marshall type of tone. <laughs> Pretty, pretty fucking cool. This amplifier is insanely versatile and it still surprised me, like even right now I'm coming up with tones that I really, really enjoy. So now combining the A channel and all of the effects, as you can see, I have them all on. I have the graphic EQ, I have the chorus, I have the delay and I have the reverb on. Let's hear some lead tones. As you can see, the graphic EQ is pretty versatile. Here is just like rounding up the tone a little bit, cutting up some high frequencies and boosting up the low mids. The chorus is very subtle because I don't like super apparent choruses when I'm playing lead. The delay is just in the background pretty much and the reverb is just giving a tad of ambience. And this is the EQ that I use for leads and obviously the overdrive is on. So let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
that in my opinion sounds amazing. I love the lead tone that I get with the RBXX. It's just one of my favorite things to play with this amplifier. Uh, and again, I will just be repeating myself because it's true. <laughs> This amplifier is super, super, super versatile. Amongst all of the Audio Soul plugins, this pretty much is the one that I would tell you get it for like an all-rounder amplifier uh, because it's pretty fucking good. But let's check some of the other features that this amplifier has that are new. Same as the Sigma, this is not the tuner's fault. This is my interface because it's kind of glitchy and, and fucky. But as you can see... The tuner works fine, it's just your normal tuner, nothing, you know, crazy to talk about that. When you click here on the settings, you can see you can select the input routing to, you know, the left or right on stereo, the quality, I have it on max, so you can hear the best out of this amplifier, but if it's too uh, CPU heavy, you can turn it down to high, mid or low. As you can see here, you have the MIDI editor, I don't have a MIDI controller, but if you have one, uh, you can pretty much configure every single thing on this amplifier, so that's great. And the new 3D caps. As you can see, uh, you have three caps. You had two 4x12s and one 2x12. Uh, you can pretty much move the microphones wherever you like. You can even change speakers. You can put them on the same speaker. You can blend between the microphones. The only quote-unquote bad thing about this uh, 3D cap thing is that you only have these two microphones, but this update is free, they're just giving this content away for free, so that's nitpicky. Uh, and they do sound quite well, so, you know, I don't see that as an issue. You can, you know, blend between the microphones. And so while you hold down shift, you can drag your mouse up and down, and that sets the uh, distance between the microphone and the cap. So that is pretty cool. They all have their own unique sound. Uh, I think these two sound very alike, but they do sound very different. Uh, you have a high pass filter and a low pass filter, so that is pretty neat. And you also have the normal uh, IR loader that comes with every single Audio Assault plugin, so that is cool. In case you don't like any of the 3D caps, you can put in your own IRs and use those. So yeah, that will be pretty much everything for this amplifier, but the same as I did with the Sigma, I want to do a little comparison between the first version, the B2 and the EX to see, you know, if it has really changed in sound and how it has changed feature-wise. So, for the sake of doing an accurate comparison, I won't be using the IRs or the input response loaders of each uh, plugin because they are all different. It has changed quite a lot between versions. So, I will be using a uh, York Audio Mesa 2x12 B30 IR, uh, just a noise gate and a TS9 plugin, okay? So let's go to the first version of the RBXX. Okay, so as you can see, it has changed a lot. Uh, it's not bad looking, I, I don't want to say bad looking, but it does look like a Fight Nights at Freddy's render almost. I don't know why it's giving me that vibe. But yeah, as you can see, it has a noise gate, it has a boost, which I will turn off. Uh, and it has the cabinet thing. This is pretty primitive, but you can still load your own IRs, which is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Doesn't have any other effects. And as far as the comparison, everything is going to be set at five sec for the gain, which is going to be X at six. It's going to be on the A channel and it's going to have the aggression uh, option on. So let's hear how that sounds. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That actually sounds pretty, pretty cool using the third-party IRs. Uh, so yeah, as I said on the previous video, 
audio sounds, you know, priority has always been the audio quality and all the, you know, extra features come after. Once the amplifier sounds good, then they think about the other stuff. Uh, but yeah, still that is pretty, pretty cool. Let's go to the RBXX B2. Okay, wow, so that's quite a visual change. This now has the fully loaded IR loader. It has the three stun boxes and it has the effects. As you can see, even those have changed a little bit, but it's much, much nicer looking. It looks more like the actual G20. And yeah, that is pretty good looking. So let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, so that sounds quite different. Doesn't sound, you know, super, super different. You can tell it's still the very same amp, but the aggression mode on this amplifier, it's quite heavier than the previous iteration, and it sounds a bit scoopier and maybe louder. And now finally, let's hear the version that we already seen, the EX. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds closer to the B2 than it does to the first version, but still, uh, they're pretty close. They all sound good and I do think uh, they all have their purposes. But yeah, they're all pretty much all pretty, pretty, pretty nice. And as with the Sigma, I'm pretty, pretty happy to see uh, how far Audio Assault has come not only visually but sound wise and feature wise that will be pretty much everything for today's demo uh, so let's go to my personal opinions if i do recommend it or not i think you guys know the answer and the outro so i'll see you right there okay guys so as you could hear it's actually pretty 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 good even though the g20 is most commonly known as a high gain amplifier i think the rbxx is pretty versatile with the new updates, both the RBXX and the Sigma, I think Audio Assault it's pretty much coming near neural DSP quality for I think a third or a fourth of the price. This plugin currently is $34.99, but again, as I said in my previous videos and all of the videos that I have mentioned Audio Assault, that is in huge parentheses and quotation marks because Audio Salt is always giving discounts, coupons, they're constantly giving stuff away. Uh, so yeah, you probably can get it for less. So if you like the rep sound but don't want to pay like thousands of dollars, uh, get this because it's pretty good and for the money is pretty much one of the best 
uh, guitar plugins that you can get in the market right now. If you want to get this plugin, there will be a link down in the description where you can get it directly from the AudioSol website. But that will be pretty much everything for today's video. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like down below, that will help me immensely because YouTube would recommend my videos to other people. If you have seen any of my other videos and you also like them, please subscribe because I will be uploading as many videos as I can. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!